How Boris Entered an Art School <laughs> Once upon a time, in the forest, there were two boars named Valerian and Jean Jacks Piglet. They considered themselves smart and talented, at least according to Valerian and Jean Jacks Piglet, and their parents. That's why they spend their days digging in the ground and nibbling on sweet roots. But deep inside they felt a longing to discuss Rembrandt or Da Vinci, even though none of them knew who are these Rembrandts or other Da Vinci's. Sometimes the surrounding forest seemed so boring, so mundane and so untamed that the young boars felt the urge to munch on wormwood. So, at some point, the boars realized that there was one thing missing in their lives – an artistic education. One day, Valerian and Jinjax Piglet decided that they needed to go to an art school. But how could they get there when they had neither money nor knowledge, only acorns and nuts? They went to the forest art school to find out how things worked. Full of hope, they barged into the office of the school's director, a squirrel named Anastasia. Hello, Oink Valerian. We want to taste the fullness of artistic education. Have you tried knocking first? The director called it. Sure. The boys happily responded to the simple task and knocked their heads together. No, I mean the door, smart ones, the squirrel exclaimed. Before entering a room, you're supposed to knock the door. It's an art school after all, not a dish where you have your lunch. Ah, I see, Valerian said. You could have just told us. Jinjack Piglet grumbled. We don't have our lunch in a ditch. We eat in a ravine under a rotten log. The boys laughed, knocked on the door and entered again. All right, let's get down to it. What can you do? The squirrel asked. How about singing? With pleasure. We sing this song to win the hearts of our ladies. Valerian oinked and they sang a verse. And I will oink you, baby, oink ways. That's enough, the squirrel interrupted. I don't envy your lady friends. How about poetry? Can you compose? Jean Jack's piglet stepped forward and recited. I'm a boar, Jean Jack's piglet by name. Once I ate a beat, it was never the same. All right, the director said sternly. I get it. Your last chance. Can you draw? The boys shrugged awkwardly. They had never really tried drawing. So Anastasia the squirrel took out two clean sheets of paper, colored pencils and handed them to the boars. Give it a try. The boars took the pencils and got to work. They found drawing to be quite enjoyable. Valerian drew a beautiful oak trough, filled with bran on top, and it looked so realistic that it made him drool. Jinjak's piglet depicted their lunchtime rotten log in great detail, with a worm named Grandpa Norman poking out of a hole. Well, not bad, the squirrel clicked her tongue. For your first time, it's actually quite wonderful. Congratulations, we'll admit you to the art school. The boys were thrilled and started their studies. Besides drawing, Valerian excelled at sculpting, much to the dismay of the mouse cook Valentina, who was unhappy that he used bread crumbs for his sculptures. Jean Jacks Piglet found his talent in acting and even adopted the stage name, Harry Oinkman. And when the boys completed their education and received their diplomas, they decided to return to their forest. 
but they were no longer the same boards they were before. They created works of art wherever they went, and the mushroom pickers, berry collectors, and other people wandering through the forest were amazed by the talented creators in the local woods, turning every fallen branch into an art performance.